ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AFWE Doomsday. And to kick off the show tonight, we have a battle royal where the final four will compete for the United States Championship at Ground Zero. As you can see in the ring, all of the contestants, some notable competitors, we have the returning Hangman on page and the returning Dolph Ziggler here tonight. With Johnny Gargano and Austin Theory in the center of the ring stranded, Dolph Ziggler with a super kick. Super kick right to the jaw. And now Riddle with a kick right to the throat. Is now Hangman making a statement. Repeated clotheslines in the corner to Austin Theory. So now he tosses him across the ring. Clothesline for good measure. That one folded him inside out. Is now Baron Corbin. Misses a clothesline. He gets sent over the top rope. Baron Corbin is the first to be eliminated. Dolph working on Grimes now. Darby Allen, he's got other plans. Over the top, Stun Gun Millionaire. Cameron Grimes has been eliminated from this battle royal. That's two eliminations for Darby. Yes, here we go. Off the theory, the drop kick eliminating Darby Allen. Not enough to win for Darby Allen. Now Kenny Omega lining up Tommaso Ciampa. Look at V-Trigger, never mind. Tommaso Ciampa tosses the cleaner out of the ring. Kenny Omega has been eliminated. Riddle working on Theory now. Wait a minute, Johnny Gargano. Johnny just close line Theory out the ring. Is the way no more? Austin Theory has just been betrayed by Johnny Gargano. And now DIY, a stare off. They faced it bound for glory. Now Johnny talking to Tommaso. A contemplated look on Tommaso Ciampa's face as maybe DIY have just reunited in the center of the ring. Wait a minute, Tommaso, no! A close line by Ciampa and a knee strike to Johnny. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the final four right there that will face at ground zero. But Tommaso Ciampa has just turned on Johnny Gargano and Johnny Gargano is trying to rekindle the friendship. And now Tommaso, he's snapping on every single competitor still left. He's snapping. A new side of Tommaso Ciampa. Perhaps he will become the first United States Champion at Ground Zero. What has gotten into the head of Tommaso Ciampa? Coming off one of the biggest wins in his career. You could see I was busy. What could you possibly want? I was thinking, now that women's wrestling is going to be featured more on AFW programming, we could team up sometimes and have each other's back when things go south. You're never going to be on my level. Very well then. Talk to me when I'm champion and you're still stuck here. The winners of this eight-man tag will compete in a tag team championship Ultimate X. It's Red Dragon in the bar versus the Young Bucks in Rey Mysterio and Ricochet. Mysterio starting off hot. Hurricane Rana is Kyle with a combination of strikes to Rey. Seamus picking up Matt Jackson and sends him down with a Celtic cross. If Matt, Seamus is on the outside. He's climbing up to the top rope. What could he be looking for here? Moonsault to Seamus! Nick Jackson up top. Call with an uppercut! Nick Jackson picking up Cesaro with a huge brain buster and a kip up and a super kick too! Ricochet off the ropes. Wait a minute, fish hook by Bobby Fish. Ricochet off the ropes, recoil. Recoil to Bobby Fish. And Ricochet, he's up on the top rope, looking 6.30 cents on. To 6.30 cents on the Bobby Fish into the cover. And they have qualified. It's going to be the New Day versus the Young Bucks versus Rey Mysterio and Ricochet in an Ultimate X match at Ground Zero. But wait a minute, Young Bucks with a super kick to their future opponents. This was only a one night thing, only to get them in this Ultimate X match. The Ultimate X, 
one of the most dangerous matches in professional wrestling history is coming to AFWE at Ground Zero. Now for some mixed tag team action, we have Adam Cole and Britt Baker taking on the women's champion Charlotte Flair and her husband Andrade. Southern Britt starting us off, German suplex, Britt able to get out of it, off the ropes, sling blade by the doctor. Oh, looking super kick, Andrade catches it, sends him onto the canvas. Is Andrade looking standing moonsault to Adam Cole? Panama Sunrise, perhaps. Andrade, he's got other plans. Up on the top rope with a Hurricane Rana. Cole looks stunned. This would be a huge win for Adam Cole and Britt Baker beating the women's champion. But now Britt Baker just got sent down onto the canvas. Natural selection by Flair. The women's champion. Reassuring her status. Andrade looking for the hammerlock DDT on Adam Cole. Adam Cole turns it around with a super kick to the back of the head. Here we go. Pulling down the knee pad. The last shot. Last shot to Andrade. And what a win. Adam Cole and Britt Baker have just defeated the women's champion and her husband. Maybe this can entitle Britt Baker for a women's championship opportunity at Ground Zero. Well, we might have missed out on the Ultimate X match at Ground Zero for the Tag Team Championships, but you best believe the Tag Team Championships will be in the authorities' presence in due time. With the sheer star power that Jay White possesses and the mastermind that I am, we will become tag team champions. And it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when we do it. The system that AFWE has run over is broken. And the authority is here to take over leadership. Like for example, we beat the Young Bucks at All Out. We made an example out of them. Yet, we are still not getting their opportunities that they just got for the Tag Team Championship Ultimate X match. The authority will make those wrongs right in due time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and you are in the presence of the undisputed global champion, Brock Lesnar. I hope everyone makes Bound for Glory and Randy Orton an example of why you don't mess with the Beast Incarnate. And that is why he is the new undisputed champion and no one will ever challenge. Brock Lesnar deserves much better a challenge than this. We have a man on a scooter and a Brock Lesnar wannabe? This can't be true. First off, my bro, no one disrespects my bro Wardlow like that. And no one disrespects my handy dandy scooter like that. So listen, my bro Paul Heyman. So let me get this straight. You're gonna let Wardlow and Matt Riddle in this ring when I've been giving you challenges ever since I debuted at WrestleMania. And I told myself, I only want to become global champion, and now is a great time to do that. And you're just going to let them storm into my ring? So it looks like there's no challenger for the Beast yet. But Wardlow and Samoa Joe both want to challenge the Beast. So Ground Zero will make this official for the global championship. 
This is a huge triple threat match for the Global Championship at Ground Zero. Just a reminder, the Undisputed will not be on the line. It is now Samoa Joe going after Wardlow as the fight has begun for Brock Lesnar with a double clothesline to the both of them. And now Matt Riddle getting in the way of the Beast. I don't think that's a good idea, Matt. Is now the Beast picks up Matt Riddle in that five sends him to the outside of the ring. Brock Lesnar makes a statement to everyone trying to contend for his global championship. Is now he breaks Matt Riddle's scooter. That is just insult to injury. This is going to be a catastrophic triple threat match. We will see you on Breakdown.